he's even fit for GTA. Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. Poke Games or Poker if you prefer. This is going to be another Skyrim VR episode here for the series. Uh we're gonna be picking up right as we left off with the Dark Brotherhood Continental Quest. Hello, buddy. Stop right there. What's this now? This is gonna Order be doing all the gourmet stuff. By I I'm sorry, but please don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Cool. All right, so we're gonna be post. We're gonna be placing ourselves in the shoes of the gourmet, and we are going to be here making a dish for the emperor, or <laughs> the emperor. Let's let's just say it like that. For those of you that understand, you understand. For those of you who do not, you do not. But you will realize why I'm saying it that way here shortly. Uh, chef's hats. There we are. Not another delivery. I. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just. Well, I don't mean to seem disappointed, but I, I just never figured the gourmet was an Imperial. I had. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature, to, but the cookbook only. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? What next? Ah, of course. I suspected as much. Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all- Okay, now what? Mmm, horker. Sorry. I'm just I trying to skip to through say, a lot of this dialogue. I actually had recorded done. part of this. Add anything else, and we may dilute the of, distinct uh... flavors. So. Well, I got caught up it? in something else IRL, so I apologize. But uh, also, I I'd said this before as well. But I, I saw the comment about you know my doing it properly and like actually like if you're gonna read, do it properly, like and all that fun stuff. And I'm guessing that was talking about mic quality. I'm a lot closer to it today. Hopefully that helps. Normally when I'm standing in VR, my mic is far away from me, and I try to you know project my voice, but, uh, I deserve it, uh... Oh? What is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, then. You're sick. And if I make... I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. I gotta follow her to the dining room. The Emperor's gonna love it. How can he not? I have to wait for you. Here we are. God's I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was for the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one, now that's beneficial. Gourmet! This is such an honor. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... Ah! 
by the gods, the gourmet. Yep. <laughs> uh, invincibility. Go in for my life. And here is where I ended up before. That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier you killed him. Yep. You killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. Make sure there's nothing left to bury. What in the blood? Okay. Uh. This could get real bad real fast. Uh. <laughs> Hell, dude. Um, Doom Beer. Let me switch back to my regular. Oh, dude, that looks so sick. That's what I was talking about. It was mutiny within the Dark Brotherhood. They betrayed us. And, uh, thus, this is gonna turn into a bit of a sticky situation pretty fast here. By the order of the Yarl, stop right there. Are you kidding me? I believe we're far enough out now to teleport. We're gonna need to go back to the sanctuary if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and look at that, return to the sanctuary. Yep, and we can't fast travel there because, well, uh, <laughs> death. So we're going to Falkreath first, which is the original way we first went over there. Excessively high bounty will, will cause a holds guards to attack the unwanted person on sight. Oh. oh. What happened? This is still as trippy as ever.
Password this time. Actually, no, we haven't needed the password since we first entered it. Think it was 
you. <clears throat> well, maybe I did. But you saved me my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <clears throat> so, thanks. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <clears throat> roasted alive. Come on. Devil, I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more. Oh. Yeah. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid, here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. Been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. She's here? Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! Alright, so everything in here is just absolutely ruined. But this is where it gets dark. Very dark. You're alive. Uh, thanks to this. <coughs> Shh. <coughs> Please. <coughs> there is much I have to say, <coughs> and not much time. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. Marrow. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, my Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. No, don't pity me. I deserve whatever fate the Dread Lord has in store. I betrayed you, and now Vero has betrayed me. <laughs> Fitting. I just wanted things to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. 
before. You... I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. You know, I have one... I know this is very dark and it's all messed up and it's all weird, but like... Rebuild. I don't understand how you burnt to a crisp but your hair is still there. That bothers me. This... Don't you see? Your hair would be I one of the first things to, to the burn. Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. That would have, uh... You know, if I'd been burned to a crisp, I would have wanted to die too, but, uh, you know what? That's getting real dark. We're gonna avoid this subject. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. Okay. May she find redemption in the void. This is dark. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. Will do. Alright, let's go ahead and go talk to Nasir. Hey, buddy. You up here? Follow me? Yeah, I see that, but I don't see his ear. Is he coming down here with me? They're probably outside, not gonna lie, unless they're still standing around Astrid. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean... You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Hmm. All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking. The Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. But don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. Alright! Like I said, this episode we are finishing the entirety of the Dark Brotherhood because I didn't do it last time because I was kind of... I mean, I, I've been busy with a lot of stuff lately, so recording this, is, or recording VR stuff, is taking a chunk of time. But, at the same time, if you appreciate the effort and you appreciate what I do, make sure to smack the like button. Comment down below what you think, what you think I could do in VR, what you'd like to see me do in Skyrim VR before the series ends. 
I mean, we are doing, we're finishing up the Dark Brotherhood stuff, the Thieves Guild stuff will have been completed. No, I'm not, I'll probably, during the last episode, I'll probably get rid of the Skeleton. just Let's received word that someone tried to kill the Emperor. Turned out just to be his double. But can you imagine if he had succeeded? Uh-huh. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Okay, why is... Quests? Door inside. That's why, the quests weren't being selected. Ugh. Old friend, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm. Okay. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. I appreciate the customer service. And closing this behind me. Hello there, buddy. How you doing? What you is doing, it? Dude? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. By the gods, you, you're alive. Hello. But I had heard oh, your sanctuary. Please, you. you mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the emperor dead, the true emperor. I still do. It was Morrow. He. <laughs> you mean after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news, wonderful news. The emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Well, I don't know. It's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. I suppose you should go to the docks and... Swim? Please, make haste. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. Well, I'll be damned. We heard you were dead. Motier's in the back room if you've got business. Alright, guys. Uh, time to go kill us an Emperor. Because now we're killing the true dude. We've already gone through the betrayal of our friend of Astrid. Here we are. For the Cataraya Blue Palace. See, that's the middle of the city. What we're trying to go is actually outside of the city. So the closest place I think I have to it is definitely this place, the Abandoned Shack. It's not a timed quest, guys. I, I could legitimately go do everything else to the campaign and come back and do this later. It just makes it seem more pertinent than it is. Oh, I forgot! The bar moves where it's supposed to be above me whenever I'm riding a horse. I appreciate that. And I know I say that every time, but I really sincerely do, because holy crap, do I not like having to look down all the time, because it's so pretty! It's so pretty in VR! I like it like- I like looking up and seeing the sky. It's pretty. It's nice. Um, that is the ship I'm seeing. That's the thing that it is. the last one. All right, enough of this. I need to be careful. I need to be so careful. And I would be checking every bag, but it's legitimately, yeah, just solving everything. Come on, let's get something to eat. Gods, I'll be glad to see the last of Skyrim. Dragons, murder, rebellion, and we sail right into the middle of it with the Emperor. I think we'll all feel better once we're back out to 
I don't know if I'll ever find it from across the skill book, so. You guys may not like, I mean, I, I promise I'll do a proper episode of with me and everything. Here, let's drop. Blade of Woe is really just a crappy blade. We are going to drop this right now. It's really not worth keeping. Uh, Ebony Dagger, dropping that. Iron Dagger, dropping that. Longbow, dropping that. Just things I think are pretty much picked up on accident. and said you could see the smoke from white run. Yes, it does mean like I can no skill the crap out of this game with skeleton key, which is why I wanted it because I don't, you know, it's not hard to clock. Although I will say with the joystick, it's a little finicky, just with the dark side.
no, there's just a coin for each and all here. 23 gold. Elven Warhammer. That weighs a bot, and it's a good two-handed weapon. But I, I was just hearing all those. So I'm expecting this place to be stacked as all hell. Did you have plenty of just, you know, let me, let me do me. Let me do me, please, let me do me. How you doing? Right. Oh. Let me do me. Ah. You guys, ah. As I do right through the field. Because it means. God, Austin's rubbing off me. Um, apple pie. Love apple pie, real life. And I'll take that in game as well. Uh, 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 There's so many books in here. Please. Dude, there are so many books in here. What the actual heck? I am going to need all of these for my personal collection. I'm going to be here collecting for a minute. I would cut it, but I want you guys to experience the part with me. This is like... Public library on drugs. All the volumes, man. Oh. Oh. Got entire collections out here on this ship. I like those. We're going to have a reading episode coming up here soon. I'm just letting you know. And I promise, I'll do it properly. I'll read into the mic. I'll make sure to do it all so you guys can hear me. You know? At least you know the best of my ability. I'm not perfect, but I'll do what I can. Oh, I'm definitely going to be over, yeah, I'm over covered, and I will be, because, oh, there's so many books. Oh my god, this is worth it. Um, you're carrying too much to be able to run. I am well aware of what I'm carrying, and I'm not going to stop, because I can drop dragon bones or whatever the heck it is. Whatever the heck it is that I have on me that's pulling me down. I don't think I need all these books. grabbing them all. I just imagine stuff like it, somebody from the Dark Brother coming out of the ship, literally only stealing all the bugs, killing the Emperor and leaving, and everybody's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> no gold, nothing, just only comes on, and it's just, you know, knowledge is, you know, the greatest thing. I definitely do appreciate some good lore, so you know what, for me, I don't even care what these books are about, as long as they're full collections, I can take them. I think some of them are the same book over and over, like I've picked up multiple biographs of Burns Eye, I can see that. It's fine. It's fine. Eventually, I'm going to take some of the dupes and just sell them all. Their value is not much individually, but with a bunch of them in my inventory that I'm selling, yeah, they'll be worth something. I just don't want to miss out because I don't want to have to travel all across Skyrim to in order to track down a book that I missed or should have gotten. And have I missed some? Yes, absolutely. I'm certain that I have. But, you know, I'm not perfect. Is this another biography of art? Dude, yeah, all those are the same books. History of the Empire. I'm going to actually check my inventory. Do I have a level up? I do have a level up. Yeah, 
notes on the table. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's ones that I've just put a lot of my inventory. We're gonna go ahead and go upstairs. That's a good one. Possibly it's not. It's fine if it's not, guys. Uh, this thing to death. And I need it. Alright, um... Oh, my baby! I don't care if I'm over encumbered after picking that up. Uh, do I, please tell me I have it. Please tell me I have it. I need to... Ah! Ah! My baby. I, I love this thing. It's set up. Bash attacks made with this weapon have a chance to knock enemies down. God, I love both these weapons. Alright, we are going to have fun. Loki looks like I'm turning to Captain Hunt here. Scales, there we are. I was like, what the heck? Let's clean me down so much, but yeah, no, that would definitely do it. I'm just gonna drop all of it because that keeps me way below weight. And I can always get more later because dragon bugs are literally everywhere. begins, ladies and gentlemen. And once more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now. Don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. But of course, you and I have a date with destiny, but so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? 
Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? Well, I thank you for your courtesy. You will kill me, and I have accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So, I ask of you a favor. An old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you've been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? <laughs> Pity. I had hoped to obtain even a modicum of justice. Well, on to the business at hand, then, hmm? Emperor's robes. Yup. Grab those. Pretty sure I already have that book, but I'll still take it. Anything else worthwhile in here? Brothers of Darkness. Ooh. It's in the Emperor's quarters. Amulet of Kings. Which that would be? Oblivion Crisis. Does it play through Oblivion? You already probably know what all that's- Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna read these titles. Uh, Septum, Great Empire, Not Grabbing Nose, Great Empire, Zaya, and Noball. That's his new one, thank you. Golden Sea Ghosts. I'm trying not to grab- Okay, I'm actually reading which books I'm getting now, guys, so then I'm not just grabbing everything. So, uh, and I'll toss out any dupe, because I can easily check that, but... Mystic. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um. Sorry. The master key, baby. That's your conquest. Drummer Law. I know I got. I have to use both controllers. Uh, the Legends end table. Oh, I can sleep in the Emperor's bed. See, now that's just rubbing salt on the wound there. Anything in here? Uh, I don't think there is, but I'll open it up. What does that say? Steel War Axe. Nothing important. Nothing too interesting, guys. I'm just taking a look around, making sure we're getting all that we can. Got a map of Skyrim. That's pretty cool. Got a miniature one on his desk, it looks like. Got a white run. Got a Riften right there. 
Dead's Windhelm. You got Solitude. More no, those Mortal, I think. Dead Solitude. That's Winterhold. Alright, we're we're getting out of here. <laughs> um We completed our mission! Now let's go collect our gold. I don't know how long this episode's gonna have been or how long it will be, but we got what we came for. We killed the Emperor and we got the Wind Shear, which means we've gotten everything we can from this, as far as I'm aware at least. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to... He's not in a light round. Well, we'll go over here and we'll go over to him. See what where the hell he is and what exactly it is that we can do for him. I'm pretty sure he was still supposed to be in the inn. Yeah, no, he was still in the city. Good. I, that's what I thought. I was like, there's no way. He's still in the inn. At least he should be. Um, yeah, the crossbows and the downgrade DLC are really good. What but do you need? They have their caveats. I spend well. a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Need more experience. Good for you. Learning the merchant's trade. Learning how to be a salesman. Living in this world, that would certainly be a Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Aha! You're back. I know, I know! I received the news not moments ago. Ha-ha! <laughs> this is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire. Indeed, all of Tamriel in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, uh, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have! Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money, and let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. I do have one such courtesy. As per the dude's dead requ uh, the request, is I'm going to kill this dude. So. But we had a deal. Woo! This dude has some nice stuff on him. Shoot. I don't even regret killing him. That was some valuable. Maybe some other time I will be your dear. Come to a lava for a reading, did you? No, not really. We get our money, we kill them, we avenge the Emperor. So we, we did the good person thing. Alright, we fulfilled our contract as per our job, and we listened to the Emperor's last words. Which I think, you know, was the right thing to do there. Especially since we get extra loot out of it. Haggling. Okay then. Uh, let's see. I like when last time we came in here, I legitimately explored the entire place. Just to realize, oh hey, we didn't need to do that. Okay, let's go on. Let's level up. Oh, archery. I was like, I've got a dumb one. Okay. I, I think I might start using wind shear again. There's one more weapon I want before I have the old setup that I used to use, but... I expect there to be some money in here, bro. Oh! Oh! That is some money! Half of what I've earned playing this game, and I've killed Alduin and done a DLC, so... Uh, let's go talk to Nazir. Don't start sanctuary. Yeah, I was about to say I should spill the fast travel there. And I'll show you guys. I'll end up with going to the Don Star Sanctuary because this place is kind of neat. You can customize it. Uh, well, you'll see. You can after you, you, this game's been out for years, so I'm not gonna. I don't mind telling you seeing all this, but uh, basically after you come back here. 
I'm gonna talk to Nazir, and then afterwards we're gonna get a, we're gonna be able to customize this place. As in, we're gonna be able to trick this place out like it's a penthouse, and it's kind of cool. Not not literally, but you guys get my point. That there's some things that I can do to this place. Just rose clothes. I don't even want to. Death gesture clothes. Hello, night mother. And then she's gonna be giving us indefinite contracts here for it, but I'm not gonna be doing all of them. Just every once in a while, I'm doing a contract. Well, what word of the emperor? Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Where are you? Hang your enemies' heads. It is done! Emperor Titus Mede II lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Okay. This mission repeats itself indefinitely. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with the unemployed laborer at the Frostroof Inn in Rorik's dead. Accept his gold, then kill the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. Twisted shit, not gonna lie. But it's interesting. Delvin is here. I said Dark Brotherhood. Thieves Guild. I'm sorry. We're going to go talk to Delvin and we're going to trick out the place and that'll be the end of it. I know I literally just said, oh, I did it a second once we got over here. But at the same time, we got the money and I don't have anything else to use it on right now. Might as well trick out our new place. Because I love customizing and I love grinding. You guys can tell from all the other things that I've uploaded on my channel. If I can deck out some, I'm gonna want to deck it out. Even in the Saints Row 2 game, I still went out of my way to deck out that place. And in Saints Row 3, believe me, I've started uploading that. Oh, oh. I'm gonna be putting some time and effort into Saints Row 3, so I hope you guys look forward to that because that game is fun. It is fun. I'm not going to lie, it is a ton of fun. Hello, Delvin. It's a gold. I still have quite a good bit of jobs available if you're looking for some extra coin. The Dawn Star Sanctuary. Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what, it'll cost you a lot, but I can help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? Banners, huh? Trying to pretty the place up. All right, you got it. 
Need some gold? Or perhaps... Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. Yeah, that'll come in handy. An alchemy station. Maybe a little garden with some choice plants. All right? Consider it done. Got lots of jobs available. Interesting? Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. Delvin's like a one-man fucking uh -huh. Now, that's the dark brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure. That one was it matter. Right. I'll see that it gets done. Looking for work. Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel dead inside. You'll be in or out, quick as a coney. Need some gold? Last one, well, guys. Of course you do. <laughs> Chamber fit for a king and all that. Right, no problem. Give you a big bed, decorate a room real nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra bulbals. Do there's anything else I can do? I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And uh, good luck with your murders. Alrighty then. Like I said, I wanted to deck it out if we had the money for it. I don't even know if we... No, we probably came close. I think we did in the 20 count. Or around about pretty freaking close to it. Which is fine. Like I said, I still have around 30k on me that I just don't really use. So it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Dawnstar Sanctuary. And I, I seriously... I, I appreciate the little... It's like the laser pointer on, on the controllers for VR. It's like I can snipe fast travel locations across the map. And that's kind of nice. Certain things wigged out from like controller. If you're like, if you've never tried it in VR, oh wait, this is, this is the Nostra. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Just kidding. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but it's just like certain things that, like wig wig out a little bit. Okay, what? Yeah, this has not been a long episode at all. Shoot, that's not. I mean, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. I was just like, shoot, I was just checking the time, seeing how we were doing. Um, you know I can still sell you some potions and such, or train you in alchemy. Cool. I appreciate it. This place is kind of nice! The Dark Brotherhood is on the rise again, listener. I can feel it. Yes, listener? Ah. Well, I'm Redguard. As I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself. And I have never looked back. Cool. Good luck. And try not to get yourself That's killed. That's the secret entrance, by the way. Which, by the way, I think looks sick. Listener, it's an honor to stand before you. This is gonna be weird! <laughs> uh, this is kind of neat. I like having a nice place. It's nice and tidy. Everything seems to have a place. We got banners going around. Everything, for the most part, seems cleaned up. I like it here. We should have moved to Dawnstar ages ago. Well, it actually is less stuffy than the other place. Is Cicero still here? Yeah, Cicero's dead body still here chilling. Please. You. You can't do this to me. Why are you people doing this? I'll tell you anything. Anything. 
Oh, I forgot. We can get, like, gold locations and stuff from the, like, people who have hidden This place is already starting to feel like home. Must be all the bloodstains. Jeez. This is morbid. I'm going. <laughs> we'll end it outside. But I just wanted to come in and check out the customization. But you know what? It looks pretty nice. I didn't see the master bed. But if I'm going to use a house, it'll be my own. Hello, Shadow Mirror. Speaking of, uh, I can actually end it at my property. I wonder if I were to go to Helgen, like, what would be there at this point? But I'm not going back. I'm good. Uh... My goodness, I like the manor as we're trying to load up here. Yep, yeah, this is my house. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. This has been Mr. Coke Games. I'm waiting for some things to pop up out of nowhere. Um, if you guys enjoyed the content, hope you guys have a great day, great night, whatever it may be when you're watching this. Uh, I mean, shoot, it was, this was an interesting episode. We ended up getting a lot done. I right, still so have some new time. Um, I wish I could drop those off. to drop all this off. Uh, I'm not dropping the gold off. Eighteen of these. Jeez. really use the rolls, but I'll put them away in here. I'm pretty sure I just picked them up because of uh, what I could use them for. And as I was ending things off, I'm sorry, I got really distracted because I started putting things away, and that's on me. If you guys a great day, great night, whatever it may be, I uh, hope you guys are taking it easy. What do you need, my things? Oh, I got another one. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the next one. This time around, we finished Dark Brotherhood. Next time around, we'll see what happens. Might start the new DLC, as in the uh, Dragonborn DLC, or you might do a reading episode, or just pick something else up. But you go, you guys. I have to see you next time. Enjoy the start back with me, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.